And, and the years you attended Milford, Maine. I went to Milford, Maine. We moved here when I was in the fourth grade. It was 1955, and I went to my junior year. And then when we were juniors, we moved to the new building on Wolf Pim Pleasant Hill Road. And that was a modern building. So take, take me back to your time at Milford, Maine. What's some of the memories that you, you still my, have Some of my fondest memories of Milford, Maine were uh, when I was in fourth grade, I had Miss Kelsey who was fourth grade teacher, and she uh, had us make these paper mache globes. And that really turned me on to the world. I, I never really thought about the world or understood the world. Or, you know, it was my first introduction into understanding how big the world was, all the different countries. And forever, I remembered that memory. And I've always tried to do that with my children, but they didn't really enjoy the paper mache globe <laughs> like I did. <laughs> And she had a student teacher there that year, Miss Jordan. And Miss Jordan came to teach at Milford, uh, Maine as well, when she finished her student teaching. Um, Did you later have her? No, no, I didn't. Um, I also remember um, the cafeteria where we ate, and it was, it, the food I thought was always great. I always liked everybody else's, if, if nobody ate their bread and butter, I would always say, can I have your bread and butter? Because I, for some reason, needed, needed that butter. <laughs> and I enjoyed, when, when we were in uh, junior high, um, we were up on the same floor as you would pass through this little hallway to get to the high school. And the high school students always looked to be so big. I mean, we were always looking up to them, and we thought, oh, when we get to high school, you know, we can't wait. So eventually, we did get to high school. And we didn't look any bigger <laughs> than, you know, than we were. But I just remember thinking those upperclassmen, they just seemed so cool. So those are my fond memories of Milford, Maine. Now, your husband, did you know him back then at those years? No, I didn't. I met him when, I, when we moved to the new building. And uh, another good memory that I have, though, is that we would have, and I think Pam talked about this, we would get to go out for lunch and we could walk all the places that you could walk to the mill point you could go to the corner lunch there was udf there was paul's cafe you know smize delicatessen you could walk and the smells were just incredible and you don't have those smells anymore but they were just wonderful it was a great place to be and we also had this um playground toy, instrument, whatever you want to call it. It was called the Giant Strikes. I don't know if anybody remembers that, but you would, now it would be outlawed. You would hold on to these two metal pieces and you would fly around. And I mean, now that I look back on it, we could have all been killed. <laughs> and if you wanted to go really high, you would wrap around everybody else and then when everybody took off, you would be the high flyer because you had wrapped around everybody else and you were flying high. Now it would never be permitted, but we, it was, nobody ever got hurt or at least, you know, permanent, permanently injured. Did you ever hear anything about the ghost? I know I asked a couple people. Do you no, that? no. That's an interesting story. We were told that once and no one else remembers it, so it must have been a thing they squelched it down pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I never heard about the ghost. Do you know any background about the ghost? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. But we were told to ask. In oh, case okay. You to okay. Those okay. Stories. Yeah, well, wonderful memories. And my children went to Maine at some point, you know, they they middle school mostly. So it's it's been a wonderful memory and I'm going to miss driving by and seeing it. 